you're like me, you've got a pair of Adidas shoes that you love that's got the boost sole, like these NMDs. I just absolutely love these shoes. But that white sole collects all the dirt. And you can see here, I've actually cleaned this shoe, brought it back to life. Here's my old NMD, or not my old, but my other shoe that I have not cleaned yet. And you can see all the dirt stains, and especially back here in the hill. And I, I just want to just bring some new life to that. So here's how I did it. Real simple. It cost me, it actually cost me about $2.50 because I already had bathroom cleaner. But the first step is just take some bathroom cleaner, clean the soles, be sure and get them all the dirt that you can get off that's not stained inside the soles. So I did this first. I've already done this for both of these and believe it or not, this is what it looks like after I cleaned it. And then I went to Walmart and purchased a Sharpie paint pen. Now this is oil based, so let me get that in there. And it is a medium tip. So be sure that you get the medium tip on this because they have a fine tip and a medium tip. Uh, they also have some paint pens are chisel end. I would not recommend the chisel end just because whenever you get into some of these fine little areas here, a medium tip is just kind of the perfect size. You still have to be really careful not to get it on the fabric because if you get this on the fabric, it is oil-based paint, it's extremely hard to get off. But the medium base just seems to be the right size. If it was chisel, it would be hard to get in some of these smaller spaces here and fine would just drive you crazy trying to get in the bigger spaces with the fine tip. So I'm gonna get started. We're going to just go through the process to show you the difference and what a huge difference this makes and make sure Adidas Boost sole shoes look brand new. Okay, so let's get started. Like I said, I've already cleaned this with the bathroom cleaner. Be sure that you have a wet rag or wet paper towel close by just in case you get off on the fabric or especially on this, this little black area here. But just watch the difference this makes. So obviously whenever you start using your Sharpie, at first you have to really shake it and then push the, uh, the pin on the, the sole until you start getting paint like this. If you can see that. And then just basically what I do is I outlined the small areas first. Being really careful not to get on the fabric. As I go through this, then I come back, go on the bottom, go on the black side. Once I get that outlined, I'm just gonna go back and, and fill this in here. Just kind of nice level strokes as I go through. And sometimes if there's a darker spot, kind of dab it a little bit on that spot and then brush across it. See, there's a lot of dirt on my shoe right here by the sole where I probably stepped in mud at some point and try to clean it off but it stained the boost got into the kind of the grain of that that sole again be particularly careful that you don't get across the fabric all right so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and I will show you the end result all right and there you have it just quickly, took me about two minutes, went around that with the paint pen, and as you can see, it makes a big difference from the way it looked to start with. Okay, so that's the way to cheaply and quickly make your Adidas Boost sole shoes give them new life. I wouldn't say it looks as good as new, but it looks really good. All right, so be sure and subscribe to my channel. Please post some comments below if you have more suggestions on other ways to clean these soles.